uh, already rolled it out uh, in Tanzania. We're in the process of rolling it out to a couple of other operations. The best improvement we've seen over a six month period is about 30% in Gaeta, but we've seen significant gains of 15% for, uh, for operations that haven't been in the process as long. But over the next three years, it'll touch every part of the business, every operation, and uh, the targets we've set ourselves, 70% improvement in safety, 30% improvement in productivity, 25% real cost reduction across the portfolio. So we've put some, or set some fairly aggressive targets in terms of what we're trying to do. What kind of strategy are you going to put in place in South Africa? Cutting back uh, on cost by 25% seems relatively ambitious, uh, given the fact that we are expecting to see an increase in tariffs uh, on the electricity front. Well, I think, I think the point we make there is that the 25% reduction is in real terms, and in fact, you've then got to reset it back uh, for those sort of cost increases. So unfortunately, uh, we're swimming against the tide somewhat in South Africa because of the electricity increases. So you've got to offset one against the other. The real thing is if we don't do it, uh, we impact severely our competitive position. So in South Africa, we have to do this almost just to stand still. Uh, it'll make significant gains in other jurisdictions, but unfortunately for us in South Africa, the cost structures are really working against us. So a lot of work to do, and a strong RAND makes it even more difficult. So uh, we've got to do all those things just to stand still, literally. You've wound down your hedge book quite significantly, as you alluded to, and now it's worth only 5% of your reserves, and it's less than one year's production. What do you plan to do with your hedge book uh, down the line, and how quickly do you plan to wind it down? Yeah, we, well, we've certainly made a lot of progress on it, so we're very pleased with that and we've had good response. Um, our current plan is to deliver around 800,000 ounces a year over the next five years. We would like to certainly get rid of it earlier than that, so we'll be opportunistic, but at the same time we don't want to destroy value and, and use shareholders' funds in the inappropriate way, so we, it's always a competition for capital. So we'll be opportunistic, we might do a little bit more than the 800 this year, but we'll wait to see if there's a weakening in the gold price or a softening in the gold price to take those opportunities. But at this stage, no big bang, uh, continuing to work it down. Our shareholders seem to prefer that sort of strategy. Current gold price is at around $1,120 an ounce. Uh, at these levels, do you think it's viable to embark on exploration projects and find new assets? Well, we've, we've been in South Africa and Africa. We've been across the globe the most successful explorer in the last 10 years. So we will continue uh, committing to exploration expenditure, which includes South Africa. We'll continue to develop our oil bodies and, and commit to new projects at Moab Kutsinger uh, um, in the Vale River in, uh, in what we call our Zyplatz project, the Mpaneng Deepening. So we've got plans to continue spending, but in a, in a, on a round basis, the gold price is a lot weaker than it is on the US dollar basis. So again, competition for funds uh, is pretty aggressive around the globe. But, but we're here, we want to be here for the long term. Our project one is about improving our efficiency so that we can make those capital investments. So that's our intention.